In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. The Lord be with you. It's Array! Array! Turn! Standard bearers! Carry! Standard! It's a great pleasure to welcome so many of you here today, gathered in such fierce numbers. Uh, given the weather, it's fantastic to see you. And as we are a little early, I thought a four-hour sermon would be entirely in order for this point in the day. I hope you're ready and you've brought your flasks of tea. We'll just reflect for a few moments on the magnitude of the sacrifice. We'll have time to do that in the silence, of course. But as we're early, I'd like to be as close to 11 o'clock as possible. We're just going to hang fire a little while longer. <laughs> Stand up! 
<laughs> they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them. When you go home, tell them of us and say, for your tomorrow, we gave our today. We're now going to sing together, Eternal Father, Strong to Say. the laying of the wreaths. The Deputy Lieutenant of Lancashire, Colonel John Davis.
on behalf of Lancaster City Council by the Deputy Mayor, Councillor Mills. Lizzie Collins, MP. On behalf of Lancashire County Council, my councillor Charlie Edwards. The Royal Navy Submariners. The Royal Electrical and Mechanical Engineers by Second Lieutenant Morgan Stimson. The Royal British Legion, Morecambe and Heesham Branch. Association, the Submariners Association, the Merchant Navy Association. The Duke of Lancaster Regiment Association, the Royal Logistic Corps, the Royal Army Medical Corps, the Army Catering Corps and the Rhodesian Services Association of Western Australia. The Parachute Regiment and Airborne Forces Association, the Royal Air Force Association, the Women's Auxiliary Air Force. The Lancashire Constabulary, Lancashire Fire and Rescue Service, the North West Ambulance Service, 
of the University Hospitals of Morecambe Bay NHS Foundation Trust. The Royal National Lifeboat Institution, HM Coast Guard, the Coast Guard Association, the Salvation Army, the Bay Veterans Association and the Arms Forces Covenant Partnership. Sea Cadet Corps, the Army Cadet Force, the Air Training Corps. The Volunteer Police Cadets, the Lonsdale Scouts, the Guides Association. Morecambe Town Council, Morecambe Bay Independent Group, the Independent Group, Morecambe and Hesham Liberal Democrat Party and the Liberal Democrat Party. Morecambe Football Club, Morecambe Football Club Community Foundation, Lancaster and Morecambe Chamber of Commerce. Lancaster and District Group of Freemasons, West Lancashire Province of Mark Masons. Lancaster and Morecambe Lions Club, the Morecambe's Poppy Scatter Group, Morecambe Alley Champions, Bear and District Women's Institute.
relatives and friends of the fallen. If there is anyone else who would like to lay a wreath, please come forward now. A Gospel reading. This is from John 15. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commands and remain in his love. I've told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. My command is this. Love each other as I have loved you. Greater love has no man than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you servants because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friends. For everything that I learned from my father, I have made known to you. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last. And so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. This is my command. Love each other. This is the Gospel of the Lord. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the leaders of the nations, that you will guide them in ways of freedom, justice and truth. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who bear arms on behalf of the nation, that they may have discipline and discernment, courage and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our enemies and those who wish us harm, that you will turn the hearts of all to peace and friendship. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the wounded and the captive, the grieving and the homeless, that in all their trials they may know your love and support. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Most holy God and Father, hear our prayers for all who strive for peace and all who fight for justice. Help us who today remember the cost of war, to work for a better tomorrow. And as we commend to you lives lost in terror and conflict, bring us all in the end to the peace of your presence through Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus taught us to call our Father. And so we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and eternal God, from whose love in Christ we cannot be parted, either by death or life, hear our prayers and thanksgivings for all who we remember today. Fulfill in them the purpose of your love and bring us all with them to your eternal glory, to your eternal joy, through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. We sing, I vow to thee, my country. to make the call to commitment, as we're about to pledge ourselves anew, as we're about to put the remembrance, uh, uh, apply it to our lives by committing to peace. Let's not forget that we're committing to love in a world that's quick to reach for hate. I told you I'd get my four hour sermon in, by the way. In a, in a world that's quick to reach for hate and otherness and them, not us. Let's be bold and brave to reach for love first. As we're called to remember, we're called to love. Let's pledge ourselves anew to the service of God and his people, that we may help, encourage and comfort others and support those working for the relief of the needy and for the peace and welfare of the nations. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve you and all your people in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of your name. Amen.
Thank you all so much for coming. It's fantastic to see so many here. And as we prepare to leave, the blessing. God grant to the living grace, to the departed rest, to the people of church and nation, peace and concord, and to us and all the servants of God, life everlasting. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.